If you pay attention, you can catch glimpses of the country hit makers Tim McGraw and Faith Hill's place they call home in Nashville. You can see it in the background of many of their social media posts. It's rustic with a very warm, homey feel. But what if I told you this mansion has nothing on the residence they go to to get some R&R? Oh yes, I'm Addison Hager and today I'm giving you an inside peek at the couple's private island estate in the Bahamas along with the price tag of this little investment. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel if you're not and then hit that notifications button so you never miss out on the latest country music breaking news. You ready to see pictures of the beach escape? Hit that thumbs up button if you're ready for me to dive in. Okay, let's do this. Let me start off by saying they don't just own a house in the Bahamas, but an island. According to Architectural Digest, the couple bought an island in the Bahamas called Lyle de Angus in 2003, or also locally known as Goat K, but wouldn't move until 2012. The couple told the magazine that the building project turned out to be quite a bit more extensive of an undertaking than they had initially anticipated. They ended up having to build housing for the construction staff, including electricity and water. <laughs> yeah, not an easy undertaking. Faith Hill noting, quote, We set out to build a house. We had no idea we had to build everything else. We basically had to build a little town. So what does this island consist of? Well, it has two beachfront yurts, three staff houses, engineering facilities and mechanical storage, as well as a private dock. The main event, aka the main house, get ready. The house is nestled on the high point near the center of the island to provide the most sweeping views. See what I mean? The jaw-dropping abode consists of 6,517 square feet with nearly 5,000 additional square feet of covered verandas and open hallways that connect the eight individual pods of the main house. And the pods are just as nice as the main area. They work around an internal courtyard, and the property also features a soaring great room, while the living room opens directly onto the pool terrace. The master bedroom is a suite with its own massive closet and bathroom, and there are three other bedrooms, one of which is a kid's perfect dream with bunk beds and two bathrooms. So what's the total here? Well, the residence consists of five bathrooms, which is built with an indoor-outdoor feel. So what I'm hearing is, I think we need to visit. However, that most likely won't be happening because as of September 2021, the island was on the market for a casual $35 million. Yeah, not exactly lunch money. We did some further digging and found that as of now, the gorgeous vacation home has sold. According to the listing on Night Frank, if you were thinking of dishing out the cash, that won't be needed anymore. Okay. Who's jaw dropped as I scrolled through those pictures? It doesn't even seem real. Now you know when McGraw was posting photos like this, he was living like this. Talk about a great place to get away and relax when not on the road. The superstar country couple are no strangers to luxury living. They also have owned an 11,000 square foot, six bedroom, nine bathroom mansion in Beverly Hills, which they sold for 9.5 million in 2009. They also had a lavish Nashville mansion, but they sold in 2009 as well. They still own a historic rural estate on a large piece of land in Leapers Fork, Tennessee, in addition to their primary residence, which public records show is a five bedroom, 10 bathroom, 22,460 square foot home. So what was your favorite part of the island? Before we say goodbye, leave your favorite part in the comment section below. Let's keep the conversation going. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.